Hello Aquarius, welcome to a bonus love reading. It's going to focus all about your person, what they're thinking or feeling about you, and what are their next actions going to be towards the connection, towards you. Um, as always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So just keep that in mind. Please take what resonates for you, for your situation, what applies to you, and leave the rest. If this does not resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Aquarius. It'll be linked in the description box. There might be a video there that resonates more for you. All right, let's get into this. Spirit, for Aquarius, tell me about the person that Aquarius is in a connection with or is thinking about at this time. What are their thoughts or feelings? towards Aquarius spirit. What are their thoughts or feelings? This one. Oh, we got the world. Endings, new beginnings, new cycles. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Aquarius? The moon, Pisces energy. Interesting. So there's, um, there's doubt here with the seven of pentacles and the moon the seven of pentacles is a card about um planting seeds working hard putting in the time and effort into something and then kind of having doubts about it being successful about the harvest that you're going to be um getting you know the fruits of your labor are they going to be good enough um i feel like there's something here that's a bit unknown about the future about a future cycle so let's get into this. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? The hangman. Yeah, I feel like this is your person. Your person's thinking about the end of a cycle or the beginning of something new. But there's hesitation. Tell me about the world. Ten of swords. Yeah, there's definitely an ending happening here. Um... There's a cycle ending or your person's thinking. I mean, I don't know if there was an ending between you and this person or if your person um, feels the need to change something in their life and somehow this is going to affect you. If there was an ending between you and this person, they're thinking about it a lot. Can I get one more, please, for the world? Why is the world here? Oh my gosh, the Two of Cups. Yes. Um, this could have been an ending of a partnership here. A separation, a betrayal. Um, if not, then I feel like your person is needing to make a change in their life. Um, in order to have a connection here. Or for some of you, even if you are in a third party, it could be that this person needs to end a connection they're in right now. All of those things apply with the cards that I have here. Let's continue. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Fool. Yeah, it's almost like someone, your person has no idea if, there's doubts about a new beginning here, about the future. Can I get one more about the Seven of Pentacles? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here, Spirit? Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a very serious energy. They're loyal, dependable, hardworking, successful. And, you know, in this particular deck, the Queen of Pentacles has like this cornucopia and it's like super abundant and beautiful. It's the harvest I feel your person wants or is working towards. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, movement, communication. Interesting. If this person is reaching out, um, it's almost like they don't know how this conversation will go. If this is about making an actual move, there could be some doubts here. Um, but I feel that like the doubts are because there's something unknown. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. 
<laughs> two of swords yeah maybe they're um undecided about what to say can i get one more for the eight of wands nope can i get one more for the eight of wands king of cups it's an uh, emotional um response you could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio Pisces is very strong here. A lot of love with this King of Cups. And yep, I have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this person, I feel, if they are going to talk to you, it's about something that has to do with how they feel. Why is the moon here? We'll see what's going to happen in the next spread. You know, what are they going to be doing next? Why is the moon here? Tell me about the moon. <laughs> Eight of Swords, definitely. There's fear here. Um, some of you could be dealing with, who was it? A Libra, I think. If you're dealing with a Libra, you should check out the reading I just did for Libra, because they had some sort of similar message, if I'm not mistaken. Page of Wands, yeah, this is about you know, whether this is communicating with the Page of Wands or this is someone taking the initial steps to start something new with the full Page of Wands here, there's fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of where this path is headed, fear of the future. Can I get one more for the moon? Eight of Pentacles. Someone's working hard though. focused on whatever this is knight of wands definitely they're gonna go after something here maybe they want to talk about putting in effort putting in energy um making some sort of move here with the knight of wands so this is what i see when it comes to you your connection there's some fear here about the future um there could be communication here uh about the fact that someone is unsure of the future or where this is going. I feel like there's a lot of emotion here with the King of Cups. The Ace of Cups came up with that and the Two of Cups. A very strong connection here. But I feel like your person is a bit stuck because of whatever has happened here with the Ten of Swords or whatever will happen with the Ten of Swords if, you know, your person has to end a cycle in the future. So let's see. Well, actually, let's ask Spirit to give us some more information. We, before we, we move on to the next spread, what are they thinking or feeling about Aquarius? What do we need to know? Using my Secret Moon Oracle deck here, what do they need to know? Spirit, what do they need to know? What does Aquarius need to know about how this person is thinking or feeling? about them what are they thinking or feeling about aquarius i desire you what are they thinking or feeling about aquarius i'm taking a risk well that's definitely the fool and i think that's why there's fear as well there's something risky about this because there's this uncertainty this doubt that i'm picking up here sorry my alarm keeps interrupting my videos Okay, so let's get one more card. Can I get some more information about this person's energy? This person that Aquarius is dealing with. Can I get one more card about? Oh, okay. Judgment call, decision, knowledge, logic. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason. Okay, a judgment call is being made. Bottom of the deck, love letter. So this person could be deciding to reach out, communicate, make some sort of decision here. Um, if they are ending a cycle, that's definitely a judgment call. So let's see, what are their next actions going to be? What are their next actions going to be towards Aquarius or this connection? Spirit, what is this person's next actions going to be? What are their next actions going to be? Ace of Wands. So having some sort of new beginning here. 
What are their next actions going to be? The world, the Ace of Wands, the Fool. Definitely a new beginning here. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What are their next actions going to be towards Aquarius? Or this connection. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person's willing to put in the work for whatever this new beginning is. Um, the King of Pentacles is a very loyal, dependable partner, very mature partner. So if this is the energy that they're bringing to the connection, then that's great. They're very serious, genuine energy as well. King of Pentacles takes their time, does things right. So let's see. What's this Ace of Wands about? The Hangman. Okay. Why is the Ace of Wands here? I feel like this is something they've been thinking about, this new beginning. Uh, it's, it's kind of been in the back of their mind here. Seven of Wands. Okay, there might be obstacles. There, this person might need courage um, to stand firm against whatever's in the way here. Queen of Wands. But they're going to go for it is what I'm seeing. Queen of Wands is very bold. They're willing to take risks. Um, passionate. What's this King of Pentacles about? This could also be you resisting this as well. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Can I get one more for the King of Pentacles? Queen of Swords. Interesting. So with the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands, I'm getting like guarded energy here. Um, a bit of a resistance. And then the Devil, Capricorn energy. This person could be juggling something. Okay, I'm seeing a few things. The devil is about unhealthy attachments, addictions, temptations, kind of being tempted by the wrong thing and then finding yourself stuck. Um, but it's it's not, um, it's an energy where you can re remove yourself from that situation at any time. But in this particular deck, this person looks like they want to get out. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Um, there could be resistance because there's some sort of unhealthy situation here. But I want to double check. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Tell me about the Devil. Ten of Swords. Yeah. So if your person, okay, so if your person is having to end a cycle right now, something in their life that needs to end, it's tied to something unhealthy, something restrictive. If you or this person had a an ending in the past, it was because of someone maybe making a wrong choice due to being tempted by the wrong thing. I feel like this your person's trying to figure out how to have some sort of a reunion with you or some sort of meetup here with you with the Three of Cups. I'm hoping this is not a third party situation where your person's juggling two people. That does not seem to be King of Pentacles energy. So I'm really hoping that's not the case. But regardless of what this is, I feel like you are this Queen of Swords and you know whatever the situation is. This is not a surprise to you. Um, tell me about this Queen of Swords. The fool. So I feel like this person could be communicating with you very um, directly about this new beginning, or you are very guarded or defensive about this new beginning. But your person, I feel, wants to reassure you or convince you that they're, they're they mean what they say with this eight of pentacles. They're willing to work for this new beginning, whatever it is. Tell me about this eight of pentacles. The sun. Can I get some more, please, for the Eight of Pentacles? The High Priestess. Interesting. Can I get one more? I feel like these two energies are very different. Can I get the Eight of Pentacles? Some more clarity, please. The Lovers. Wow. Gemini energy here with the Lovers. Again, I feel like this is someone that's willing to work on a partnership work on um, a connection. With the High Priestess and the Sun, you know, I got some very, oh, and I have the Magician at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone willing to work on whatever this is, 
you know, manifest this. And it, they have the five of cups at the bottom of the deck behind that. Um, whatever this is where someone's willing to put in the work here, I think part of that is having clarity about something that there was doubt or secrets about or a mystery about regarding your connection. So this is kind of tying back to the first spread with the moon. I feel like this high priestess is kind of like the moon and then you have the sun. So the sun is kind of bringing clarity to what wasn't clear before and it's regarding your connection. So I feel like your person wants to kind of approach you about a new beginning here. So they're willing to put in the work here is basically what I'm saying. They want this with you. They they need to take some sort of a risk because of whatever is going on either in their whatever ending is currently happening with them or whatever ending happened between you in the past. There's like a barrier there. But I feel like your person is, is almost like they're trying to convince you that they mean what they say, that they want this. Um, so maybe the judgment call card is for you. <laughs> maybe you're the one making the decision. Um, but I feel like the judgment call, call, the judgment call card could also be your person finally deciding to just take the risk and have this communication with you or, or approach you in some way with the page of wands from the previous deck with the knight of wands that showed up uh, with the ace of wands here. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Hopefully this resonated for you. If it did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Uh, leave me a comment if you'd like to say hello. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to know anything about my oracle decks, the cards that I use, um, my book, my website, my personal readings, all of that will be in the description box right below this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.